Hi everyone, it's Sam McKay here. Today we're going over something really practical. We want to discover what are the best selling products in a particular region. And we might want to see some sort of correlation. I mean, that's why we would do this. We would want to see, well, are there some uh, co common, is there some common products which sell really well uh, across all of our different regions of, to all the different areas that we might be selling to? Now, it's not difficult, if you think about it, to work out uh, what the total sales are, for, for example, of every product per region. But what can happen is if you do that, is it can get you can get a really 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 busy chart and you might actually or visualization and you might actually only want to focus in on the top products so if i just mock this up uh, in the example i've got here so i'll take out um, the calculation i've already got and i'll put in total sales now if we look at that you'll see here that we, we sell a lot of products right we sell a huge amount of products and um, the list can get really long and it's very actually it's quite hard to actually see any trends or to see the um, you know, to see the calculation or, or the insight that we want to see. So what we have to do is we need to somehow make uh, the ones that are not in the uh, top two, is what the example we're going to use here, the, the products which are not in the top two, we need to somehow make that blank so that it doesn't actually show up in our visualization here. And it's not as easy as you think. Um, there's a little bit to uh, the DAX formula that we're going to write today. Uh, and there's a little bit you know, of understanding that's required to actually understand how, why this insight comes about. So there certainly is many reasons why you would actually do it. Um, and, and it's very reusable. You can use it for a range of different, um, you know, range of different scenarios, not just sell best selling products, it could be best customers, best selling regions, best salespeople, you know, it could, it could go on and on and on. Um, you could even you know, isolate pro profit margins, profits, costs. You know, there's, there's so many different ways you can actually use this, this pattern that we're going to use. But you know, the great thing about it is we can change the context of the calculation and it also will adjust the table. So, you know, this is a perfect example. So this is a much more contained visualization. It's very easy to see. Uh, these are all the places we sell, the top two people. We could we could sort by um, the product name, for example, and we could see, well, is there, in our best-selling products in all these regions, is there any common ground here? I mean, is there is there anything that sort of pops out to you and says, okay, well, this is by far a best-selling product that could determine your marketing promotions, um, your advertising, uh, your your deals that you might put on, so on and so forth. Just a reminder, you can download this resource and all the other training resources uh, through Enterprise DNA TV. Link is in the description. Uh, it just requires a small purchase. Okay, so let's jump into it. Let's start from scratch here. So I'm just going to jump to uh, my demo model. And I'm going to show you the formula that you need to write to actually make this happen. Okay, so let's just set the scene here. Let's go and grab. Let's go and grab our state. Uh, well, actually, we'll go. Yeah, we'll go state code there, um, and we will go total sales. So let's actually leave it as a map here. Okay, and then we want to grab. We want to grab our uh, the name of each location within our state, within our states, and then within that, I also want my products. Okay, so we need to, so we need to, if I just bring in total sales, this is obviously going to show total sales for every single product for every single region. Well, I want to isolate, I only want to show the sales of the top two products in every region, then I want to blank out everything else. Okay, so to do that, to do that, we need to utilize this formula. So I'm going to call it uh, top two products region now as I as I mentioned you can use this in so many different ways so so certainly you know just understanding this pattern if you like you know this 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 way that we actually um, find this answer um, you know you could apply it in, in, in multiples of different ways okay so I'm just going to I'm going to use variables here I'm a big fan of variables so I'm recommending to get into them as soon as you can and have a good understanding of, of what you can achieve with them I'm just gonna put a ranking context in here we're gonna use a function called top end which has become a, a new favorite of mine and then I'm going to find my product name because that's actually what we're going to rank here. If you think about it, we're trying to find the top two products. So the ranking context is going to be just that. Okay, and then I'm going to go return. And I'm going to jump down to a new line, go calculate. And then I'm going to, obviously we're, we're ranking, we're, we're calculating sales here, right? So we, want, we still want to calculate sales. We just want to calculate in a new context. And that's what you can do inside of calculate. And I'm going to use top end. 
and I'm gonna say, okay, well, the end value is two because we wanna rank or only find the top two. And then I'm gonna go all here. I'm gonna go all product name. I'm gonna close that off. And then I'm gonna rank by the sales, right? I'm gonna rank by sales. And then that's all we've gotta do for top end. Now the last thing we've got to do is we've actually got to, because of this all statement here, or this all function, we've got to actually bring back the context of the product name. And that's where this ranking context comes in. And so if I go okay, and then I bring this in, I'm just going to make sure that it's formatted correctly. If I bring this into this table, you'll see now, check this out, check this out, there's actually blank values for all of the products which are not in our top two. So if we if we say um, let's have a look, let's actually let's actually sort these. So you see here now that these are all uh, our top two products in any specific region, and that's why you know up here we're getting a lot of values, and then they start to peter out, and then all of a sudden we'll get down a bit lower, and you'll see that we have everything's blank. And that is because now we've isolated the top two products dynamically via this formula and we're only showcasing the sales for those two products. And then this obviously links back into the data model just like every, um, you know, just like most of the calculations we do, and that's what we want to achieve. Now, if I get rid of total sales, this table is going to become a lot smaller. And it's only going to showcase the top two products or the sales of the top two products, which is awesome. And then we could, you know, there's, there's lots of stuff we can do here around visualizations. Data bars is a good one. And we could bring in um, some color to this. And again, we could um, have a look here and we could see, okay, well, it looks like, well, you know, product one is pretty well sold, but, you know, it looks like uh, product 28. Product 28 is, um, you know, very quickly we can identify, well, this is a pretty, this is a, this is a top product in a, in a lot of areas. So, Pretty good insight, right? Pretty good way to find, um, you know, to, to quickly discover things, um, you know, based on ranking. Um, and as, as I mentioned, you could do this so many different ways, it's crazy, you know, how quickly you could reuse this. You could just copy and paste this, you could put it into customers, um, you know, salespeople, you know, any dimension that you think of, um, can think of or that you have in your data model, you could use this and, and bring this insight um, into, into your reports. Okay, let's round things off there. Um, hopefully you like the content. If you did, th uh, throw the video a like, really appreciate it. Um, don't uh, forget to subscribe as well. Fresh Power BI content every weekday. All the best with this technique. I'm absolutely uh, sure that you'll be able to utilize us in many different ways. Um, it's a really, really quick and easy way to discover you know, great insights. So all the very best and um, I'll speak to you next time.